Call of Duty is coming out tonight, in case you didn't know. Public service announcement. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubifier. On the 27th of October, 2022, CIG released Inside Star Citizen Further Underground. Here's what you need to know. John Griffiths, a lead environmental artist, took us through the underground bases that we saw at CitizenCon in a little bit more detail, specifically the process of making them. Ideas are being thrown around. Brainstorming ideas, how long a player might be in the environment, and then it's time to box it out in engine. Art and design get an opportunity to refine what was done to make it better. Once the pre-production is done, the list is broken down into a Gantt chart. Tasks are paired with people who work to achieve the final state. Rooms are not as simple because that space also needs lighting, textures, and those change the feeling of the room. The same room might be reskinned to repurpose it for a different location. They're talking about changing up how large and how far down the elevator might be from area to area. Gameplay will be tested and refined. He acknowledged that even the best planned plan has some time setbacks. Day after day, week after week, progress is being made. 93 rooms, 196 overlay variations is currently what's being worked on. Jared moved on to Gen 12 update. Sylvan is an engine programmer, and he said that his updated overview today was more basic than what was shown at CitizenCon. The new renderer is migrating from Direct 11 to Direct 12. This very large task has been going on for years. CPU and GPU work together, and this update and redesign will reduce CPU call-up times and will also add Vulkan support. These modern systems are expected to improve frames, reduce loads, make things look beautiful, and improve optimization. The progress of migrating requires every single asset to be updated, and Sylvan said that they have been rolling this out in parts. They are at the final test migration and hope to have it working complete with further optimizations in later patches after 3.18. We were shown some graphics showing the render load thread, uh, somewhat of a debug mode, if you will, and we were shown a quick scene with the breakdown of all the loads. That's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.